One last chance to weigh in on Woodstock 50. Organizers inviting neighbors to an open house at Vernon Downs tonight, one day before the fate of the festival will be decided. News Channel 9's Josh Martin tells us the top concerns of neighbors. It's our hope that you guys will host us for this event and that it will become something that will be memorable for everybody. There weren't a lot of people at Monday's open house. How many people walk out of concert loaded? But there were a lot of questions. Neighbors sharing the same concerns that so many others have had throughout this process. The number of people expected to attend, alcohol being sold, and potential property damage to nearby houses. And I'll tell you that the majority of people in this community do not want it. Organizers were reassuring those in attendance that their concerns have been met. Vernon Downs owner Jeff Garall took it a step further, questioning why this community would push back against Woodstock 50. I guess you want to have a sleepy little town um, and, and no future for your children because I'm sure the, the kids growing up there can't wait to leave, unfortunately. It's heartbreaking. You know, the greater good for the community is, is, is important here. This and for a little bit of, of uh, discomfort for a couple of days, the, the amount of, of impact it will have, positive impact in the area, I think is well worth it. Woodstock 50 is expecting 65,000 people, though tickets haven't gone on sale yet. We're one month away from the target start date. In Vernon, Josh Martin, News Channel 9. Now tomorrow night, the Town of Vernon Planning Board will meet to discuss an appeal of denial for permits for Woodstock 50. Michael Lang would not say what his plans are if that appeal is once again denied.